You know, rebuilding a football program usually takes time. U of L fans had abandoned the stands by the end of last season, so I wanted to know how this family approach seems to be working so well and so fast. Just before the Notre Dame game, I got to spend about a half of a day with the Brahms, all led by the original U of L Brahm quarterback, their dad. Yeah! Yeah! The quick turnaround of Louisville football. A team ruled and coached solely now by homegrown Louisville folks. <laughs> team Brom, U of L star quarterback Jeff Brom, seen here in 1993, now the head coach. But all led in heart and spirit by their mom and dad, with the patriarch showing up here often. Do you like to come over here every day? Uh, I'll probably come over about three times a week. 75 year old Oscar Brom, a proud father. What are you looking for when you walk through here? Uh, you know, it's just fun walking through here. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll go talk to Greg, and if I see Jeff, I'll talk to him. And he's not kidding. Oscar, a former U of L quarterback himself from the beginning of the program in the 60s and still coaching, notices everything like the photos on the walls. Well, I, I'm going to have to bring in some of the action shots of Greg and Jeff and Brian and, and get them on the wall now, now that they're back. They're back. I like watching on the air, keep up the good work. Well, thank and you. Thank Coach you Jeff Brom, Chief of Staff Greg Brom, offensive coordinator for the quarterbacks Brian Brom, even a Brom you're going to hear more about in the future, U of L freshman Brady Brom are all working here, and of course, their regular visitor, Oscar. And I coached uh, Greg and Jeff and, and Brian uh, when they were little and all the way up in all sports. And uh, whether they like it or not, I'm still coaching them now. So, uh, uh, and, they, and they like, and I think they like it. Dad will call, he'll, he'll call me like a couple times a day. My job's to answer the phone when some other guys are working or doing whatever and, and to take in all of his little tips and his little fatherly advice and coaching advice. They are tight-knit with a sense of humor about the family dynamics. It's just the way it is, you know. <laughs> hey. How often does he text you with advice? Oh, they, 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 <laughs> all the time? Oh, gosh, yeah. And, and if it's not me, he's going through Greg. And normally when Greg says something, I can tell if it's his idea or someone else's idea. But uh, that's part of it. Family businesses can sometimes be rocky, but it's clear this family has turned their closeness into a management style that's working. Take a look. Oscar and Brady are right there in the locker room for the coach's speech after the Notre Dame victory. As usual, business-like. How can you not smile at that now? Okay. That is a great victory. Right. One longtime U of L fan told me he liked Jeff Brom because he is business-like. I take that as a compliment. I mean, uh, I'm not into flash. I'm into uh, you know, putting the work in and trying to get the result. The years of controversy and drama in U of L athletics have ended with the Brahms. We've been around long enough, all the different eras of Louisville football, that we know what the fan base really wants. They see probably in us that we're trying to keep the football first and uh, do it the right way and do it uh, with uh, morals and ethics and things like that. That includes how fans, legacy players, alumni, and others are treated. I've always loved living here uh, in this city, in this town, with all the people here, and uh, so is my family. So have you um, been happy with your recruiting success so far? Yeah. Have you landed some people that you really yeah, wanted? Yeah, we have. We uh, real good transfer class. Uh, and now meet the next generation of Brahms, 18-year-old Brady, Jeff's son. He works in recruiting. Andy's right there by his dad, racing onto the field after the Notre Dame victory. Just having that pride, you know, that your dad's leading the program, you got all your family a part of it, you know, you just want to see it do well. Through it all, Oscar was the U of L rock. He was here in the the, the birth of, of the program, really. If I'm in Louisville, I wear the Louisville clothes. If I'm going to Trinity, I'll make a quick change, usually in the car and uh, even my shoes. Get your feet under you, you're, you're falling back on a throw. In the end, it all comes down to the game of football, where for 25 years, Oscar Brown has been on the sidelines here at Trinity, where the legacy started with his sons. If you haven't guessed it yet, there's one underlying theme here, a love for the city of Louisville and the Cardinal football program, seemingly all from birth. Yes, it's always been a, uh, a destination that uh, I, I wanted to be a part of. I Brom Blueprint is as easy as this, led by the one who's seen the program's entire history. Hey, this is exciting. And, uh, and you, could, you could feel the excitement just walking through here. And so they are on a roll. Uh, ben, I tell Good you what. Good story. 
uh, it was such a family feeling. The security is tight at UofL football. I want to mm -hmm. emphasize that. But walking through there, it was like the doors open. The family is here. Hey, yeah. how you doing? Uh, obviously, Louisville's a, uh, thrilled to have them here. And uh, a dream come true, I think, for them as well. And my dad would have been proud that I caught a football. He spent many years <laughs> trying to get me to catch one. And how many I, takes, though? I, never dro I always <laughs> dropped him. Well,